Hey guys, what's up? It's Practical. And today I think I'm thinking about showing you guys some PvP in Star Wars The Old Republic. Now, uh, PvP is the sort of the end game experience for I'd say basically level 50s plus, but PvP can also be enjoyed by lower levels such as me. I'm level 43, so I'm almost hitting the cap. I'm almost level 44. But, uh, you know, I thought I would try some PvP experience, and uh, so far I've been pretty good. I've got 660 mercenary commendations, so every 10 mercenary commendations is 30 warzone commendations. And you can get about uh, 100, I, the most I've got is 101 uh, warzone commendations in a one single game of PvP. But, um... My goal is to be able to get a token called the Battlemaster token or Battlemaster Commendation. Oh, Battlemaster Commendation. So one of those is 1,000 Warzone Commendations and 1,000 Mercenary Commendations. And that's going to be uh, allowing me to get incredibly good items. And uh, this video is probably going to be in two two parts, maybe three, uh, because PvP matches are usually about 20 minutes long. So uh, most of this video uh, is going to be the first part and showing you my equipment and my companion, uh, who I got at a lower level, Jason Wilson. But uh. So I am wearing some Sith armor, and I have a incredibly good lightsaber at my level. And then uh, changing my name, but uh, I'm ranked 25 Valor, and Valor's like say PVP ranking overall. So I'm ranked 25 out of 100, and then uh, I'm gonna try and get that to 60 in the next couple of weeks. It's going to take a while, but I'm just going to queue up for PvP now, and PvP can take a while to get queued for, so I'm going to pause the video and then get back to you guys. So I will be back, and I will be queued for PvP. Alright guys, uh, we got queued, so I'm entering the p battlefield now. So there's one in three maps. Uh, this, oh, this one's about 14 minutes long. It's called the Void Star. And it's basically, we're trying to get to, through three waves of fighting our enemies. And I'm going to let them explain this right here. So, watch this. Republic Strike Force has found us. They must be held off long enough for our text to recover the data. Alright, so basically what's happened is we're on this abandoned old ship. And the Republic is trying to steal the information, and we have to stop them from getting the information. So you can see these doors right here, they're called blast doors. They're, it's basically three waves of shields and whatnot for... Uh, to get to the objective, which is the data core terminal. And uh, we're defending, so... We are, I am going to be killing a lot of Republicans. Uh, so I'm actually going to apply a guard to this guy. I have a yellow lightsaber, by the way. I bought a purple one, because I love purple, but I can't get that till I'm level 60? Or, no, 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 50. I'm, I'm out of my Star Wars today. But, uh, level 50 is when we get the purple lightsaber and the good stuff. But as you can see, the uh, match just started. And there's the enemies with their red names. They're just players. They're all Russian. Rush. Rush. Ah, uh, forest choke. I'm gonna forest choke this guy. This guy's gonna come. And then hopefully... Oh, he deflected that. Uh, we're gonna use my power. Alright, we got him. I actually just got a medal. I usually get about eight medals per game. Uh, let's see. I'm 
gonna die. Almost got that. Uh, lower the sound. So you can hear me. And then uh, we're waiting now. Because there's a... Uh, a little break in between that way where it's not absolute ponage for one team. If you know what I mean. You've ever felt that feeling. But oh oh he's he's breaching it, he's breaching it, he's breaching it. Oh I stopped him. That was close. He was capping it. And capping means uh capturing for non Star Wars lingo people. But, uh, my most powerful, uh, skill is probably Ravage. It does about 2,000 damage per, uh, per attack. Which is significant. Oh, we're gonna lose this. We're gonna lose it. We're gonna lose it. There we are. Somebody guarded me, and I guarded them. But, uh, yeah, the... The most powerful attack is Ravage for 2,000, and then I have Force Scream, uh, Intimidation Roar is like an area of effect, uh, I have Impale, which uh, makes the cooldown for Ravage reset, uh, Force Choke and Force Push is a deadly combo, and that's my, uh, that's how I normally start getting the people, like right now I'm Force Choking. Then force pushing. Just use that area of attack. And it looks like we got one. I'm gonna check over there. There's a good chance that the people are communicating either voice or through chat about uh, where they're planning to go because you may just be thinking oh I'm, I'm saying a bunch of hoopla but I'm not you should see these people if you've ever seen the uh, YouTube meme Leroy Jenkins that is why people communicate it's a funny video I recommend you go watch it after but uh, I have two medals so far uh, one for 2k damage to your allies, or for pre preventing 2k damage, which was with that guard boost. Um, I'll just use that area of effect again. Looks like this guy and I are gonna take, um, this guy. We should have no problem on him unless he's a healer. Which he's not. We'll take this guy out now. Uh, the only type of uh, player I have an issue with is Commandos, which is this guy, because they have this grenade called an Ice Grenade, which allows them to uh, basically um, freeze your opponent with a grenade, and so you're like frozen for a solid four seconds. It's, it's a really uh, tough, tough skill to counter. I actually just got my third badge, or medal, what am I saying, for uh, slaying ten enemies. Uh, gonna put a shield. Looks like he's already shielded, so I'm gonna shield that guy. And we're gonna take out this guy, the founder, as we like to call See, this is the ice thing, where you get frozen and you can't do anything. I also just got my fourth medal, uh, preventing 5k damage for your opponents, so... It's, it's, uh, PvP in this game, I think is awesome. You know, you can get some pretty crummy maps. Uh, there's one map where it's like, sort of a sports arena. It, it is a sports arena. The, the The game mode is designed around like a rugby type of game, except with Star Wars. So it doesn't really work. It's kind of uh, silly, if you ask me. And uh, I'm not good at it, but I also don't like it. Uh, 
Looks like what happened here was we they have a minute it's impossible for them to win at this point because I'm using also I just use my area of attack against of effect against five people. But it, at this point it's impossible for the, them to win because there's only about one minute and fifteen seconds left. There's only a small margin of what you can do. And they still have to get through two waves, three waves really. And uh you know, it's not the easiest thing in the world to do. But, uh, so like I said, uh, uh, the force push comes in uh, crazy, uh, crazy good here. Because what you can do is, if they open up this panel, the bridge will extend. And when you're on the bridge, you can just force push people off the edge. Which is, uh, it's pretty fun to do and fun to watch. People will rage about it too, and that's the fun part, is just seeing them get so mad. Because you use this cheap move when they're trying super hard. But I'm gonna go down. Uh, just got my fifth badge for preventing 10k damage. I think that's the final one you get, but I'm still gonna... He's guarded. This is my character. Oh. Oh. Oh, so, uh... We actually just won. Actually, I'll let you watch this. We have rediscovered the long-lost prototype ship, Voidstar. Its technology must be recaptured for the Empire. The Republic has arrived before us. Access the data core on the bridge and kill anyone in your way. Override the security channel and attack. Alright, so now we are uh, attacking and trying to get to the very end. In most likeliness, if the people can't get past the uh, the first wave, you have a good chance of uh, getting to the end as your turn. So now we are trying to uh, trying to get this door to open, and we're gonna kill guys at the same time. going down I'm dead so I'm gonna head back over there uh, it seems like it's a uh, pretty big battle going on but uh, oh see so we just already got through the first one and six minutes 35 seconds left that's just it took him the entire time for the last one it's not the uh, But they can defuse it too, which none of them are, because they're not good. But pretty soon, fairly soon actually, I'm going to get my next medal, which I'm going to think is 75,000 damage done. And I usually get about 7, 7 badges, 7 8, 6 sometimes.